Well, hello you guys and welcome to this edition of Chantel Delgado. So I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about creating a YouTube channel. So if you've been thinking about creating a YouTube channel and you really want to do it, but you just need that little bit of push and a little bit of information on how you can get from where you are today, just kind of in your mind, kind of thinking about it, kind of planning about it, and you're ready to take action and get started, then let's get into this video, okay? Definitely stay tuned. <laughs> Well, hello, my beautiful jewels and gems. I'm so excited that you're here again. I'm Chantal Delgado, and if we are just meeting, I am a mom influencer, and I am a life and business coach and consultant. And I love what I do because I help mom influencers, entrepreneurs, and girl bosses do more of what they love by creating a brand that matters. And if that is something that matters to you, then definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. I wanna let you guys know that um, I know one of the things that people struggle with a lot when they first get started on YouTube is, after they get past just starting, is um, coming up with topics that fit. And so if you are interested in life, lifestyle, mommy style uh, topics, I have a downloadable for you free PDF in the description box below you can download it right now and you'll have 20 amazing topics that you can jump into right now that are lifestyle and mommy related so um, those are great topics and if you are not a mommy um, vlogger or a, a lifestyle vlogger I also have a free brand identity chart that you can download and that is also in the link in the description box below so the very first thing that you need to do if you want to start a YouTube channel is you have to decide what you want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to make content about? Because that will help you figure out what you should call your channel. That'll make you figure out how you should brand your channel, like how it should look, you know, to the person that comes onto your channel. The first thing is like, what do you want to talk about and that's going to come from what are you passionate about what are you interested in what are you already an expert in and it doesn't have to be an expert to the point of you know you're gonna win the nobel peace prize <laughs> for that topic or for that honor or for whatever it is that you do but it just means that what knowledge you have you can share it in a way that somebody else can learn from you and uh, don't get caught up in imposter syndrome. Oh, we're going to talk about that, um, and where you feel like I can't, I can't do this because I'm, you know, you overthink it and you, you, you just you psych yourself out of ever getting started. So just figure out what it is that you have to offer. What can you talk about? What can you help people with? Um, and that's going to get you started. And uh, that's the main thing: is what do you want to talk about? Then after you figured out what you want to talk about, tip a uh, second tip is choose your audience. Uh, once you know what you want to talk about, the audience will will become more clear to you. You'll know who do I want to talk to, right? Who needs what I have to offer? Who needs um, my channel, my information, my knowledge, my skills, my abilities? Who who needs that? And um, it's important to understand that person and what their needs are because once you do that then you can create the topics you can create the channel you can create the brand that they will want to attract to if you are so caught up and this is like a huge mistake that many of us make when we start creating content if you're so caught up in what you want and what you need beyond what your topic is going to be, uh, <laughs> then you're going to you're going to fail quickly. So you have to really keep the audience needs in mind. And when you do that from the beginning, then it'll give you an opportunity to grow and to develop and to grow a, a true brand that matters in the world and makes an impact and makes a difference. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to create this audience because you're special. And I don't bring up failure here because I wanna discourage you or because I don't think that you're wonderful or, or because I don't think that you're capable. But <laughs> firsthand, I learned um, the importance of the audience and giving the audience what they need and giving the audience what they want and finding that audience. Um, I have made a lot of mistakes and so I can tell you that 
as a creator, it is difficult sometimes to pull back what you want and focus on what the audience wants because you're an artist. And when you are creating art, you are, um, you're expressing yourself. And so sometimes it's hard to pull that in and really understand it from the business lens. Uh, so I learned that <laughs> the hard way. So just believe me on that. And we'll talk more about that later. Number three, decide on the brand that you want to build. Today's market is seeking and hungry for personal brands because people follow people. They don't follow a plan. They don't follow an item or a, a product. They follow the person and they follow the connection that they have with the person. So if you are going to do this, then you have got to decide on who you are and who you want the world to see you as. And that can be very daunting. I'm just going to tell you right now because we don't have it all figured out. We don't know completely who we are. Half the time, we don't even know what we're doing. I know I don't. But once you just get started and you just kind of decide, you know what, I want to go in this direction. I want to reach this kind of person. I want to be this kind of person. Then you give yourself a, a pathway to get where you want to be. And people that are like you, and believe me, they're out there, um, then they will follow that path. They will follow that gateway. They will join in your journey. And there's something very special about that. And that's why this new world of, I mean, being an influencer is nothing new. Influencers have been around since the beginning of time. There's always been people that have had that gift, you know, and you may not feel that you are an influencer as of yet, but once you start and once you decide on a message and a point of view and you share it, you're going to grow your tribe. You're going to grow your audience. You're going to have an impact. And, um, and it's special because you have an opportunity to help somebody else through whatever it is that you do. If you cook, right? I, there's a lot of people that do like cooking and cleaning. There's people that do gaming. There's people that uh, give advice and tips like this. There's people that are just funny and they do entertainment. There's people that talk about faith. Uh, and I just, I just think that sometimes, oh, in relationships, um, I just think that sometimes we, we lose sight of how important what we have to offer to the world is. And I just want you to know that what you have is special. And so lean into that and you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to build a brand that really matters. So I want to talk now about letting go of fear and overwhelm. Sometimes we get so caught up in our head and what we're thinking and what we're feeling and all of that. And then we do that to the point in the extent that it makes us where we don't produce. We don't produce. We get stuck in the planning stage. And I was just sharing with someone recently that I've decided I'm out of this planning phase and I'm into the action phase. And there's so many people that get caught up in the overwhelm and in the fear. And they never take the step to just do it. Just press record, just get started, just set up the camera, just put it out there. Uh, and so I don't want you to be that person. I want you to be the one that says, you know what? Forget the fear, forget the overwhelm. This might not feel completely comfortable to me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna press record, I'm gonna create the content, I'm gonna meet the audience because I want to help somebody. I want to build something special in somebody else's life. I want to be that encouragement for them. And so once you decide that, then you can push past your fear. You can push past your overwhelm and you can get to the point of, I'm going to do this now. And then you'll start doing it and you're going to feel amazing about it. <laughs> All right. Number five, create a schedule and a schedule for yourself that's gonna work. Now, I don't just mean a posting schedule. What I mean is a schedule for your life because what I've learned is if you wanna create consistency in your content, you have to first create consistency in your life. 
and so I'm just gonna throw a couple of strategies out there to you and if you guys want to hear more about these strategies let me know in the comment section below one of them is block scheduling the other one is batch recording um, and the the third one is batch editing and generally what these things are is you just have a schedule of time that you're gonna do these things and you fit them into your life but if you don't already have systems in your life that are set up so that you can get things done um, it'll make it more difficult to be consistent and that's what you will find out as you continue to grow a YouTube channel so believe me, create a schedule and systems in your life that will allow you to be consistent in creating content and not overwhelmed and, and not afraid of whatever it is that's keeping you from moving forward. My sixth tip for you is engage with the YouTube audience. You'll hear a lot of people that do this, a lot of marketers who will say things like, engage with your audience, make sure you're responding to their comments. And that is good advice. But if your audience has not yet been developed, then you have to go out into the community that has been developed and reach out to these people and comment and interact with them. So if you don't have it yet on your channel, then you go out there and you get it and you bring them back. My very last tip today is that you got to check your analytics. This is like such an important thing to do. If you do not check your analytics as much as they might sting <laughs> when you first start, because you're going to be hearing crickets at first, most likely some, there are some exceptions. Okay. But most likely you're going to be hearing crickets at first. Um, I think it's really important to check your analytics and see what's doing well for you, what's not doing well for you, be honest with yourself, and then adjust accordingly as you continue to grow your channel. So I hope that these seven tips were helpful to you. If they were, then definitely like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and I wanna offer to you guys, I have a uh, channel topics list in the description and I also have a, a new membership group that is getting ready to get started it is called savvy social jewel chat Woo. <laughs> and so we're gonna have live training for you guys every week where we can help build your brand and if you're interested in doing that then definitely get on my waiting list in the description box below and you'll get more information from there well thank you guys so much for being here if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and share it i love you guys so much and i'll see you on the next one hugs and kisses thanks for watching